Tracy Hall here, certified personal trainer and New York Fit Pregnancy Coach. Here I am in the third trimester. I'm actually nine days out from hitting 40 weeks, which means she could be here any day, maybe even two days, although I doubt it. <laughs> um, both my boys were late. Uh, Bryce, my oldest, was nine days late. Brayden, my second, was six or seven days late. I don't know why my babies don't like to come out on time, but they just don't. So. She might stay snug a little bit longer, but definitely nine more days until I hit the 40 week mark. And uh, well, let's talk about the recipe today. This is my last and final recipe for the Fit Pregnancy blog and it's March. So I wanted to have a little bit of fun and we're going to make these lemon bars that are actually the recipe is designed by my friend Jamie Eason Middleton, which you might know from various fitness magazine covers. Um, but she's actually a really dear friend of mine and a really good cook. And she came up with this recipe, but I'm adding just a little bit of extra things to make it a little bit more St. Patrick's Day fun uh, with some green food coloring and some green sprinkles. And those are optional if you wanna do that. But I figured if you have kids that are a little bit older, toddlers, they'll definitely wanna get involved and this could be a lot of fun for both of y'all. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're gonna start right now by putting all the dry ingredients in one bowl and then we'll put all the wet ingredients in another bowl and then incorporate them. together mix it all up so that it's well incorporated I've made this recipe a thousand times and it never gets old kids love it I love it I hope you do too all right let's do the wet ingredients Pretty use your fingers. You can get messy. Nothing wrong with getting a little messy. So each one of these cups is four ounces, and we need eight. So obviously, I'm using two. Okay, that's it for the wet ingredients. Now I'm just going to get my dry ingredients over here. Mix up your wet ingredients really well and then you're going to pour that into the dry. Just mix this up really good. All right now to make it a little fun for St. Patty's Day we're going to, oh there's a fruit fly in here put a little bit of green food coloring. I'm just gonna start with maybe two drops. How about two big squirts, not drops. Mix that up. It's a good start so you can see what color it makes and then you can always add more. I was starting to lose you guys there. <laughs> All right, this is starting to look really rad. It's really green. So now we're just gonna get an eight by eight um, cooking pan and spray it with some cooking spray. I'm gonna use a non-stick um, spray that I have. You can use coconut oil or even olive oil, just really lightly. Make sure you coat that pan so that this doesn't stick. It will. Okay, my pan is ready to go. I've got the cooking spray already there. I'm going to give it one more good stir tap the whisk out 
and spatula, all this goodness inside. Okay, now we're just gonna pop this in the oven for about 23 minutes and let's see what we come up with. Okay, recipe is done and I'm just gonna put some sprinkles on top. Sprinkles on this one. One thing that's kind of fun is to put Greek yogurt on the top. You can mix Greek yogurt with um, some stevia and it makes it really sweet and that can be an icing, which is really yummy. Um, I just don't have any Greek yogurt with me now, but um, the sprinkles will still kind of stick. You can see it like that. And let's go ahead and dive in. So good. They're basically just her lemon bars with some food coloring. So um, these will be fun. The kids will come home from their spring break camp to find these and they'll be really excited about that. So this is um, been a really fun journey uh, blogging my pregnancy and having you guys join along. I really appreciate you checking out the recipes and letting me know when you made them and what you thought about them. If you've done the workouts, I just, I love the feedback and it is really reassuring that I'm doing a good thing here, you know, so I will keep you posted. Baby should be here soon. Um, I'm going to try to get one more blog post out before I have her and um, I hope you'll tune in for that. Uh, I think that's it. Thanks for joining me, you guys. I really appreciate y'all. Cheers. Happy St. Patty's Day. These aren't going to be here when my kids come home. Might need to make another batch.